during the writing of the Constitution, they really had no idea what they were doing. No one had really done this before, and so they just decided to focus on major issues. So the first one that they tried to tackle was representation, because that was their main complaint for uh, the revolution and independence, and so they wanted to make sure that that was very clear in the Constitution. They're going to ultimately come up with what's called the Great Compromise, and that is made up of two types of plans that they started with. The first plan, they were like, hey, let's do one house in Congress, which would be unicameral. Uni means one, like a unicycle. And each state just gets one vote. And so those small states are going to love this plan. That's why it's called the New Jersey plan. New Jersey representatives suggested it. And that means that the small states that have a lower population of people are equal to those states that have a higher population. Now, those higher population states are like, wait, we have more people, we should have more of a say. And so Virginia is going to suggest a different plan. And they're going to say, no, we should have two houses and we should make it bicameral, bi means two, with representation being based on population only. So those states that have a larger population, those large states, are going to get more of a say in Congress. So like a bicycle, they want two houses in the Virginia plan. And so the compromise is they're going to have two houses, going to be bicameral. The first one is going to be called the Senate, and each state gets two votes. So that's just like the New Jersey plan. They're just upping it from one vote to two. And so today we have two senators that go to Congress. So every state gets two senators. However, the second house, the House of Representatives, is based on population. So those states that have a higher population get more votes than those states who don't. For example, Missouri has a higher population than Alaska, so Missouri gets eight votes. Alaska would only get one, whereas California, that has a higher population of both, gets 53. Okay? That combination is also how we determine our electoral college. You just add how many senators you have to how many House of Representatives you have, and that's the number of electoral college votes you have. 